Well, it's a willingness to steer the ship. Yeah. Right. It's you know, like, okay, we are in uncharted waters. Okay. Yeah. This is, um, you know, if you've been in the industry, if you're watching or listening, right, you've been in the industry for, you know, 20 or plus years. Okay. You've seen some ebb and flows. You've been through a few recessions and so on and so forth. This is definitely not something that we've been through in the no. past. I mean, well, I don't think we, some of the conversations I've had in the last 24 months, I would have never in my wildest dreams thought we were going to have conversations yeah. like yeah. this. But, but you're right though. I mean, I think a, a good leader is willing to take, take the helm. All right, grab the wheel and point the ship in a direction and and own whatever that direction is. Yeah. All right. You know, and I think a lot back. of them wanted to freak out, which is understandable. Of course. Like, <laughs> you're allowed to freak out when you get home, but not while you're trying to steer the ship. <laughs> That's true. That's true. But but that is that is a good point. I mean, look, I think, you know, there, I think there are a lot of owners out there um, that look at their managers and they look to them to be leaders. Mm-hmm. But they don't necessarily need to be leaders. No. Um, and, it, and if they're really good at training your team on what to do and coaching them through the effort so that the results are better, that is an amazing talent in itself. All right. But it is a very different set of talents for someone to, t- to willingly all right, stand up and say, look, if, if, I, if I fail and we go the wrong direction, I'm going to own it. All right, so let me take the wheel and let's, I'm going to steer this bad boy, 